America's contribution to the culinary arts has always been, at best, questionable. The most notable one is certainly the convenience food, the fast food establishment. And if there is such a thing as the American diet, it is the junk food diet of burgers, hot dogs, shakes, tacos, donuts, pizza, and of course, fried chicken. In fact, chicken, which best lends itself to cheap mass production, is rapidly replacing the hot dog and hamburger as the all-American favorite. Today, in countless fast food establishments, enormous quantities of chicken are consumed. chickens eaten in America no longer come from rustic poultry farms, but rather are produced by the millions in enormous chicken factories. Once familiar farm chickens, such as the Rhode Island Red, have become virtually extinct and have been replaced through selective genetics by laboratory creations, such as the R27, a new type of chicken that can neither walk nor fly. In these new factories, the chickens are incubated born, bred, and butchered, without ever seeing a ray of sunlight. During an artificial day of 18 hours, the R-27s are force-fed and scientifically prepared for the American fast food market. They are packed four to a cage to eliminate virtually all exercise and to speed up the fattening process. The unnatural crowding heightens what remains of the territorial instinct of these poor creatures and sometimes explodes into fits of frenzied aggression. As cleaning of the cages would be impractical as well as costly, the new chicken factories are designed with cages open at the bottom so that the bird droppings will fall below into a concrete trough creating an immense river of chicken guano, some six feet wide, four feet deep, and in this factory, over five miles long. Because of the rapid digestive process of the chicken, it was found that the chicken guano still contained great nutrient value and could be reprocessed. Droppings, feathers, and even some dead birds are worked into a fine mulch, liquefied and aerated. Then new chemicals and other artificial nutrients are added, together with some 35% of fresh feed. The dried mixture is granulated and placed onto a conveyor belt, where it is fed once again to the chickens. This endless cycle, in which these chickens are in fact ingesting their own droppings over and over again, is keeping the breeding costs of the R27 to an absolute minimum. It produces, however, a tasteless bird, which must be coated with artificial flavor enhancers and additives to make it edible. And so today, there is in fact an entire generation of Americans who have never known the taste of a real chicken.